Welcome, everybody. This will be the preview for the 2023-2024 Indiana Hoosiers men's basketball season and delighted to start making content again for this year, getting ready for what I hope is going to be a turning point year for this program under Mike Woodson. Let's start with off-season coaching. The first thing that we get is we get Calvert Chaney. He's now in as director of player personnel. We've got a former Hoosier great helping the guys on the team. He's been in this role before. Now you've got one of the greatest wings in Indiana history will be uh, out here directly working with these kids. But you know, to, to talk about where we're headed, we kind of got to start with uh, what we lost. The first two players off that list of what we lost, Jalen hood Shafino, a phenom, five-star recruit, 6'6", had a great season. If not for Xavier Johnson's injury, his season might have looked a little different, but ended up shouldering a big part of the load of that team and still helped carry them on. Boy, I'd love to see him another year in high school or in college, but I don't think that was going to happen. And of course, Trace Jackson Davis uh, going into the draft. Best of luck to him. I. If that man develops an outside shot, he might be, he could end up being really great at the next level. I got a lot of hope for him. Big contributors, not so much. You know, stepping on down is Miller Cop to graduation. He and uh, Race Thompson, those are two of the bigger ones that we lost via graduation. Jordan Geronimo decides to transfer. He goes, he stays in conference and goes to Maryland. I love Geronimo. I really feel like he's a spark plug. I don't know if it was, he wasn't being utilized correctly within this program. We'll see, because he's gonna stay in the Big Ten. We'll see if he breaks out over there. Nothing but the best. I felt like he has a lot of potential. OG Ananobi comes to mind when I think about uh, Jordan Geronimo and I'm sad to lose him. Another one that I, you know, we never really got a chance to learn much about, uh, had some uh, injury issues, uh, something with his sinuses, Logan Duncan. Uh, he will be at Xavier next year, going back to Cincinnati. Uh, two years in, in Indiana didn't uh, fare well, he didn't get much playing time. So if he's gonna go back there and be productive, I'm happy for him, hopefully he does well. And Tamar Bates goes back, you know, close to home in Missouri, and he will hopefully have a, a, a career there. Tamar was the one that I didn't mind so much transferring. I felt like he had a lot more on his plate than just college basketball. I didn't like his first step, seemed a little slow. Go on down that way, you know, you can say what you wanna say. So when you put that into perspective, we lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine players off of this roster from last year. Nathan Childress, we'll mention him really fast. He graduated and transferred. He's going to play at Indiana Wesleyan. I love that guy. I wish he could have had a little bit more time to play, but hey, it is what it is. So basically, there's all your departures. That's a lot to lose in a season. So Indiana gets right back out there and they go out on the transfers in the portal. And the first one that they land is Peyton Sparks out of Ball State, 6'9", 240. He's a junior with two years of eligibility left. I don't know a whole lot about him per se. I will be doing some player a bio videos coming up. Khalil Ware. This one here is a big time transfer out of Oregon. He has three years of eligibility remaining. He's a sophomore. There's a few questions around him, but he's a seven foot center at 210. I believe he can shoot the rock. Very interesting. Uh, I think that was a big time grab for the program. He's going to have a little something to prove since he's not still at Oregon. Hopefully a change of scenery does him well. Then you get the guy that's locked in with some experience and uh, and that's anthony walker 6'9 red shirt senior from baltimore maryland comes from the university of miami florida had enough of them hurricanes last year i'm sure as we all did there he's got one season he's going to bring some leadership to the table look for him to make an immediate impact anthony walker plays with good edge i like that so we got three transfers and now we have three recruits coming in uh jakai newton is out of Covington, Georgia. He's six foot three, 190. Four star recruit for them, I believe. Uh, he looks like he's a shooting guard and off guard. And Gabe Cups, as the second one, comes in as a very highly touted six two point guard. We need a true point on the roster, at least in a backup role. 
I think Gabe Cups will be that guy. I don't think he will crack the starting lineup right away. I do think he has a tremendous upside. And then the one that surprised me, uh, Mackenzie Mbako. Roselle Catholic, 6'8", 210, five-star recruit. ESPN has a grade of 92 on him. There's going to be a lot of fighting over some power forward minutes. Let's talk about what we got on the roster. Xavier Johnson gets granted another year on a hardship. Xavier Johnson feels like he's got a lot to prove. He's ready to get out here and ball. His intensity that he brings, his defensive presence on the floor, Big Ten through and through. Obviously, he wanted to come back, and I'm glad to have him for that reason. He's a very chippy player gets under your skin, gets out there and works really hard. Should be setting a great example for all the young guys. Second on that list is Anthony Leal. He's got it in him. I just hope that he develops a little bit. One of my two breakout players on the existing roster this year is gonna be Malik Renu. That dude, every time he came in, he felt like he was in the right place at the right time around the rim, effectively changing the way people defend, going in for rebounds, getting, you know, taking the scraps and, and taking advantage of it as a freshman. Definitely a stud. And my other guy I look to take a step forward this year is gonna be Caleb Banks. He's next on my list, 6'7", uh, sophomore as well. Dude, I feel like there's tons of potential there as well. I think he's really gonna step up his role, being aggressive and getting out there and playing time. CJ Gunn, next boy on my list. I like CJ Gunn, I hope he is a little uh, is he beefed up a little bit hopefully this summer or they have him at 6'6 194. i i think he can be a contributor as well i just feel like that the game was a little bigger than him last year but he did give it a shot uh trey galloway what to be said that guy's like a floor general out there very 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 smart basketball player plays with major intensity looks really solid can't wait to see trey galloway this year hopefully he goes a full season Moving on down, other than the walk-ons, I think that really locks us into what we have. Great job by Woodson, Kenyon Hunter, uh, Yashir Rosemond, and Brian Walsh and on the coaching staff. Kudos to having Calvert Chaney back there as Director of Player Development. Look for upcoming videos featuring player bios, probably everybody that's new to the system. We will go from there. Ready for a great season of IU basketball on It's in the Blood. Much love to everybody, and I am out.